to my channel everybody. Today's video is just going to be a September, October favorites video. I haven't done one of these in a while so I thought I'd just do this quick and easy video for you so let's get right to it. Starting off with the makeup products, I have a IT Cosmetic, so I'm like, Ugh. IT Cosmetic Bye Bye Redness Neutralizing Correcting Cream. So this is basically kind of like a foundation. This is in the color Transforming Neutral Beige. I think this is the lightest shade because obviously I'm white. It is probably the best thing I've ever tried in my entire life. I'm actually wearing it right now as my foundation. Like, I don't have anything else on. I have a little bit of concealer, but not a lot of concealer. Mostly it's just this. I just absolutely love this. There, I have nothing but good things to say about this. For people not in, I think, big cities, you can't get this in store, so I will link the website that I got mine from in the description box below so you can go check that out. But it's not super pricey or anything. Like, it's decently priced, I guess. But I, like, I love this. This covers redness like there's no tomorrow. So if you struggle with redness, like problems covering up your redness from your like acne and stuff like that, or just general redness, like for example, like my cheeks get really, really red. So this helps to cover up the redness so that I can apply like bronzer or blush properly and it doesn't look completely stupid. So absolutely love this stuff. All right, up next is a foundation from Clinique. It's the Acne Solutions Liquid Makeup in the color Fresh Alabaster and it's number one, it says. So light a shade again because I'm white. I use this when my acne is really 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 bad so it has my acne has been acting up quite a bit lately so I have been using this quite a bit. The only thing I, with this is that it, it's a bit drying I guess so around your acne area it dries out a bit because I think yeah there's silic acid in it so I pretty sure, if I remember correctly, silic acid can dry out your skin so obviously people who don't have acne don't need the acne solution foundation by Clinique because that's just stupid. Don't do that. Uh, but for those of you who do have acne, this is a really good foundation option and like I said, the only issue I've had is that it's a little bit drying. So I just be careful with that and be ready to do touch-ups with it, I guess. Other than that, it doesn't irritate your acne at all. I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd go as far to say is that it helps to heal it, but I'm gonna say that it probably help, doesn't not help to heal it, if you know what I mean. Like it doesn't make your acne worse is what I'm saying. So uh, this is a really good option if you have acne. Up next are some products from Bobbi Brown and the first one, I'm not sure if I showed you this yet, but I'm gonna show it again anyway, even if I have because I love it. This is the Bobbi Brown Mini Shimmer Brick Compact and this is the bronze one, obviously from the brown colors. I absolutely love these Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. They add so much color, like during probably August, September, I was applying this just to like my cheekbone area and it gives such a nice bronzy glow and highlight that is just so gorgeous. It just gives the prettiest uh, effect on your cheekbones and I highly recommend this. All right, so up next, I got another Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick, but this one is the full size one and because I loved the other one so much, I got the pink one. So this is the Shimmer Brick Compact in rose. So freaking beautiful, guys. I just think these compacts are like the best thing ever, just purely because it's basically light. Well, for the for this one, this is like a two-in-one, so you've got the blush and the highlight. Looks gorgeous on your cheeks. The bronzer is the blush, highlight, and bronze. You get three-in-one with that one. So these Shimmer Bricks are just so so amazing and Bobbi Brown just does an amazing job with their colors and it lasts a long time so I have nothing but good things to say about this. Alright, up next is an eyeshadow palette by Milani and this is the Milani Bare Necessities palette and as you can see it's just got like gold and brown tones in here with kind of like a creamy white shimmery tone as well. I am just in love with this palette. I got this, you've seen it in my Milani haul like a few months ago, so I've used it quite a bit since then and I've been using it quite a bit through September and October just because they're, the gold colors I feel like are more fall colors, autumn colors, and they're on my eyelids right now. It's kind of hard to see in this lighting because my bedroom lighting is just horrible, but uh, it is just absolutely like the best palette I've actually ever used. They are so pigmented, the colors, and they just give such a great effect 
on your eyes. You would think that these are like super high-end eyeshadows and they're drugstore basically. So highly recommend these. I will link the Milani website down below because I'm not sure that every store carries Milani products. I know there is a Milani section here in Prince George in the Superstore, but I don't know if they have the eyeshadow palettes. I cannot remember. So I'll just link Milani's website down below and I would go check that out and get yourself some of their eyeshadow palettes because they are the bomb. Up next is a mascara by Too Faced. This is the Better Than Sex waterproof mascara, so it's like the Better Than Sex other one that's in the pink tube, but this is waterproof and I just wanted to give it a try, so I bought it in the tester and I actually really, really like it. I liked obviously the Better Than Sex original, so I figured I would like this as well, but you never know, so I just picked the small one up, and I, like I said, I love it. It's a typical waterproof mascara. It gives you nice full lashes, and that's pretty much all I can say about that, so good, good waterproof mascara. All right, so up next, I'm going to show you some hair products that I've been loving, and the first one is this, uh, Gorge, or I'm thinking it's Gorge, because it has no E, so it can't be George, but it could be. I don't know. If I've said it wrong, I'm sorry, uh, but it says I'll make you look amazing daily spray. It says a magical leave-in conditioning spray that will turn your hair into the sexiest hair ever. Uh, I don't know that it's the sexiest hair ever, but I, you know what, to be honest, I'm not really sure what this does, but I love it. It makes my hair feel super soft and smooth looking. There isn't as much frizz. It just looks healthy and it says on the back, do you believe in magic? Well, you should. Or even better, you will after trying our magical leave-in conditioning spray for the first time. Honestly, like I said, it's like magic because I'm not even sure what it does, but my hair feels great after using it. So I'm going to have to find out where I can pick myself up a, another one of these. This came as a tester in my top box from I think like September or something like that. So highly recommend this. Again, I'm sorry, I'm not 100% sure what it does. You could probably Probably Google it and find out but yeah so I'm going to look and see where I can find this and I will link the wherever I find where you can purchase this in the description box below as well next up is a dry shampoo by Pantene and I'm missing the lid for it so that is why it's lidless it is it says it cleanses and removes oil and refreshes style so uh, I've always been a fan of Pantene and I generally like most of their products and this one just this dry shampoo bleh, bleh, bleh. This dry shampoo smells absolutely amazing. So I kind of just use this as a more of a refresher over it, like just using it alone as a dry shampoo. I use a different dry shampoo, my bed Batiste dry shampoo, and then I spray this in afterwards. And this just gives it like that fresh, clean smell that you usually get from showering. And this is part of their Pro V style series. So I would recommend you guys go try this. Next up is another product by Pantene and it is another one of their Pro V uh, series, style series. And this is a 24 hour humidity resistance hairspray in the number four. So it's the extra strong hold because as you guys well know, if you've watched my previous videos, I've mentioned that my hair is absolutely horrid when it comes to body or curls or frizz. So I need this to help with humidity and to hold my hair so that it doesn't fall out of place. So it smells amazing, number one. It smells really good. Uh, it does leave a bit of that like hard, crusty feel, but it's not too, too bad. And I find that it, you know, does its job for the humidity resistance and it's hold. So if you're looking for a new hairspray to test out, I would go try out the Pantene one. All right, and this next product is another Pantene product from the same uh, Pro V style series. Uh, I swear I'm not. <laughs> Looks like I'm advertising Pantene, but I'm not. I just really like Pantene product. Uh, I saw this in a magazine and it said that it was the new like it hairspray that celebrities were using. So I thought I'd give it a try. And this is the Airspray Healthy Style and Feel. And it says alcohol free hairspray. This is in a number two hold. So it says brushable, flexible hold. Basically what it means by airspray is that it literally is like spraying water on your hair, I guess, but it like dries instantly and you cannot really feel it. So it's not like that crusty, hard, yucky hairspray that most hairspray textures leave you. Did that make sense? You know what I mean? Me. So basically this space feels like air on your hair. <laughs> it doesn't leave the crusty feel and 
and I've just been really liking it. I'm almost finished, so I highly recommend you guys go try this. And especially if you're looking for a hairspray that isn't crusty and hard, this is where you need to go. You need to just go with the Pantene. Up next is a deodorant by Dove, and this is the Dove Dry Spray deodorant, and it is in the Soothing Chamomile Scent 48 Hour Odor Protection Antiperspirant. So basically, I got this in a top box. They sent me this, so I just thought, you know what? I have wanted to try these before because, you know, I've seen them and I've seen the commercials, blah, blah, blah. But because I wasn't sure about it, I didn't want to waste my money and buy this when it could be crap. But I can say with complete confidence that I think this stuff is amazing. So if you guys like or would prefer something that's less wet feeling and basically wet feeling, this is the way to go. It feels nice and cool on your underarm. It has an amazing smell. It does keep you smelling fresh all day long. I don't know about the 48 hours. That could be debatable. I wouldn't go 48 hours without spraying more, so that's just my preference. Uh, it says feels instantly dry with a quarter moisturizer to care for your underarm skin. So as well as keeping you dry and smelling good, it moisturizes and I just think this is whoa, very innovative and cool and I will probably be picking myself up more of these in the future. Next up is a lotion by B Spa Bon Vital. I'm not, yeah, Bon Vital. And it's a body lotion and it says six natural oils and extracts in the scent pink grapefruit. I love things that smell like grapefruit. I hate grapefruit. How weird is that? Uh, but this says it's a number one preferred brand of massage therapist. So I got this in a top box uh, as well and I absolutely love this lotion. It is like soft, it moisturizes well, it smells amazing, it's just great and I think I'm going to like find where I can get more of these because this is like my new favorite lotion. I will search where you can find these and I will link it in the description box below. All right, and the final two products are Bath & Body Works products because it wouldn't be a favorites video if I didn't show you a Bath & Body Works product. So the first one is this body spray and it is the Orchid Leaves & Blue Sky Fine Fragrance Mist. This smells so fresh, so autumnal, it's just, oh. I love it so much. This has been my fall scent, pretty much. I've been wearing this just about every single day. I just absolutely love this scent. You can still get this at Bath & Body Works, so go and get this scent. It is the best thing you will ever smell. That's a lie. It isn't the best thing you'll ever smell, but it's pretty darn close. And the last scent is this pumpkin. Oh, it's perfect pumpkin. Fine fragrance mist. <laughs> Obviously, as you can see, it's a Halloween scent and I love this scent as well. I've been wearing this obviously quite a bit the last month because of it being Halloween, obviously. And I just think it is a great smell. I'll wear it even after Halloween because I just love pumpkin-y smells. I wouldn't say it's like, it's not like pumpkin pump. It's like a sweet pumpkin smell, I guess. It's just amazing. So I'm pretty sure they're still gonna have these at Bath & Body Works as well. I would go get them. Go check it out as soon as you can because I'm sure because it's gonna be switching over to Christmas and whatnot, they will be, you know, moving, getting these out and bringing in the new stuff. So go check that out and hopefully you can pick yourself up one of these because it smells so great. All right guys, so that was all of my favorite products and such like that. The last favorite I have for you guys is a music favorite. And for the last probably two months, I've been absolutely obsessed with this and that is K-pop. I am now a crazy K-pop fan. I absolutely love K-pop. I can't believe I've gone so long without watching and listening to K-pop because it is so entertaining. It's so good. I highly re recommend you guys check out K-pop. Specifically, my favorite K-pop band the last month or so has been, I'll put a picture of them right here, BTS, For The Win, Bangnam Boys, woo. <laughs> I am absolutely obsessed with their music. I have downloaded pretty much like all of their songs. Yes, it's Korean, so I have really no idea what they're saying, but it doesn't matter because the beats are sick. I love it. It's just entertaining music. So that, my friends, is what's going on. I'm gonna do a K-pop video, some kind of K-pop video in the future, so I will let you know other K-pop bands like my recommendations if you are new to K-pop or you just want some, you know, ideas. So I will
will do that in a separate video for you, but for now, BTS, my favorite K-pop band. They are so cute, except for one member. I like them all, except for one member. One member's a little iffy, but they're all cute. They are my new One Direction, and I know I could get a lot of hate for that from like K-pop fans comparing them to One Direction, but I'm not comparing their music or their style or, you know, dancing. 1D never really danced. I'm just saying that if those of you who know me knew I was obsessed, I still love One Direction, but the fact that they've disbanded, you know, kind of harsh is my mellow. So the only reason I say that they are my new One Direction is because they're a group of boys. They're cute. They sing. They, you know, it, it's just, that is what I mean. Alright guys, so that is all for my favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to give it a thumbs up and go down to split the Go down and subscribe if you would like to see more of me and I will see all you fine people later. Peace. Yeah, that's not going to be pretty if I get out on the floor and it's going to pretty much be this. Noticeably white uh, because the other white people dancing Noticeably white so I kept saying no and he was pretty persistent